Welcome, my name is Mahmoud Abu Siddiq, Assistant Professor at Putwakli Science and Technology University, Bangladesh. In this video, we will discuss about the effects of renewable energy on land use. After watching this video, you will be able to discuss how different renewable energy sources, including wind energy, solar, biomass, hydropower, and waste energy are causing land use change. Let me first explain about the brief description of renewable energy. The decision makers around the world are well known about our limitations regarding the fossil fuels we have. In addition, oil prices, fluctuations, increasing change in climate conditions and its associated impacts on world economy have motivated many countries in the world producing renewable energy, both in small and large scale. Renewable energy is the sources of energy which is naturally replenishing and virtually inexhaustible in duration. The energy is collected from naturally replenished sources on a human time scale. Most common renewable energy sources are wind energy, solar energy, biomass, hydropower, and driving energy from waste. These renewable energy sources have significant implications in natural landscape change. Now, I would like to talk about the effects of wind energy on land use. Wind energy is becoming familiar as renewable sources of energy in many countries of the world. China has the highest installed capacity and the largest wind farm in the world. United States is the second largest wind capacity country and followed by Germany, India, Spain, United Kingdom, France, Brazil, Canada, and Italy. Agricultural land, livestock, grazing, and fallow land are the most compatible land uses for wind energy production because of height and noise issues for establishing wind turbines. In the area of residential or commercial, sitting wind turbines are not feasible because adjacent building impaired the wind in one hand. On the other hand, the noise created due to turbines cause the recommended noise level of the International Standards Organization, that is 25 to 40 decibels at night with 10 decibel higher for daytime. The noise created due to wind turbines may vary depending on the power capacity and types of turbines used as well as available wind speed. Usually ranges of noise created by wind turbine is 96 to 180 decibel. Therefore, establishing wind turbines need to change the present land use of agricultural, livestock grazing, and fallow land. Although these changes are happening in a small scale but have significant impacts. In addition, establishing infrastructure for construction of wind turbines, operation and maintenance, and energy supply system need alteration of land uses in the production and service areas. Solar energy. The demand and use of solar energy have been increasing around the world using two popular methods that is photovoltaic that is PV and concentrated solar power that is CSP. Total capacity of solar powered electricity has reached to 227 gigawatts in 2015 and represents about 1% share of global electricity production. PV farms and CSP are large-scale centralized method of solar energy production, which require a huge volume of insulation as well as land use concern. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory, that is NREL, of the United States reported that the average required land area, that is direct use, is about 7.3 acres for producing power megawatt electricity in the country. 
Lindholm and Marguerite found that depending on available insulation, about 114 to 261 square meter length is usually needed to fulfill per person's energy demand using PV method. Land use change through forest clearance, construction activities, etc. for solar energy production are observed at different rate in many countries like United States, China, etc., which have several potential effects in soil erosion. Biomass Biomass is considered as the fourth largest source of energy, while the first, second, and third sources are oil, coal, and natural gas, respectively. It encounters about 6.41% of total global energy consumption. It is the largest sources of renewable energy that can be produced from different sources of raw materials such as agricultural crops, forestry and wood processing residues, algae, household waste, industrial wet wastes, etc. Biomass energy such as biogas and biofuel can be used for cooking, heating, electricity production and also be used as transport fuel. Like other developing countries of South and Southeast Asia, biomass energy is being used as the main source of household energy in Bangladesh. Global demand of biomass energy has doubled in the last four decades and is still increasing. Although 0.5 to 1.7 percent of agricultural land is currently used to grow biofuel raw materials, but has a great potentiality to be produced both small scale and large scale production. The production of biomass is largely depending on the available cultural land and land use policy, which might increase land transportation transformation. The effect of biomass on land use is largely due to the cultivation and processing of feedstock, as well as transporting fuel to the power plant. Successful biomass energy production involves intensive planning for longest period that takes into account alternative land uses and resource conflicts. Hydropower Hydropower is the world's largest renewable sources for electricity generation, accounting for 71% of all renewable energy sources and 16.4% of global electricity supply from all energy sources. As contrast to electricity derived from the fossil fuels, increasing hydropower energy output holds the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Hydropower is often advertised as a low-cost, low-carbon, advanced technology for satisfying growing energy needs and boosting economic growth. River basin management and reservoir creation for establishing a hydropower plant as well as its associated economic activities may trigger the changing nature of social status and economic well-being, resulting in changes in land use and land cover and hydrologic pattern in the water basin area. In addition, a hydropower project can contribute to develop new residential area through reducing flood risk and improving development activities. And of course, this is one way of changing land use pattern. A large scale hydropower plant includes construction of dam and associated road networks, construction of power station infrastructure and electricity power grid, leads clearing of forest and relocating human settlements. In addition, the reservoir's inundation on land could kill ecosystem, destroy infrastructure and settlements, harm livelihood, etc. The World Commission on Dams reported that about 40 to 80 million of people displaced due to the socio-economic consequences of dam establishment activities. Later, a research on land use and renewable energy planning estimated that indirect deforestation rises between 11.3% to 59% and 
land use for agriculture increased between 7% to 50% due to hydropower development in any given site for any given year. Waste energy. Waste to energy process has a strong significance to land use alteration. Agricultural or commercial uses of land can be transformed to solid waste disposed site in order to generate utility and industrial fuel. According to the origin of waste, solid waste can be categorized into three types. First one, municipal solid waste that includes food, kitchen, green waste, paper waste, product packaging waste, appliance waste, etc. The second one, industrial solid waste that may include inert industrial waste that is chemically or biologically non-reactive and non-hazardous waste. And the third and final, Healthcare solid waste, which may include solid medical waste, including plastic, uh, discarded gloves, shins, bandages, human or animal tissues, clothes, etc. However, the extent of economic or agricultural losses incurred by solid waste dumping varies by location, but typically all biodiversity is destroyed from such territory. Particularly biodiesel generation from municipal solid waste requires available land surface in ignoring food stocks which contribute to global land use change. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. We will discuss about the impacts of land use on energy efficiency in the next video.